Before I begin, a bit of a disclaimer. Black Void Games sent me a review copy to mull over in advance of this material's release. However, that does not play a factor into my overall assessment, although I am humbled by the prospect. Anyway, let's get started. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your gaming monk for the evening. Modules, adventures, scenarios, whatever you want to call them, they come in many flavors. Sometimes it's a soft script with a beginning, middle, and end. Other times it's a sandbox with points of interest to build around. And sometimes it's a little of column A and a little of column B. Today I've been asked to look at the newest module from Black Void Games, Dark Dealings in the Shaded Soak. For a bit of background, the titular Black Void RPG is a unique spin on a Babylon-esque dark fantasy setting, where their city was ripped into a void where humans are no longer the big fish in a small pond. A kind of post-post-apocalypse, even though that's underselling it a little bit. There's a degree of fish-out-of-water themes throughout its material, but that's a subject for another day. Dark Dealings is a whodunit scenario that might evoke films like The Fugitive for some. In it, the player characters were people framed for the slaughtering of valuable exotic beasts. And this story majorly takes place within the Camellia district in the Eternal City. Investigating the identities of the actual killers leads to a greater conspiracy involving much larger and powerful parties maneuvering between both sides of the proverbial coin. That's as far as I can mention without spoilers, as there's plenty of twists throughout the five acts. Now, even though I called it acts, the scenario splits itself into five scenes, each starting with a synopsis, along with including important NPCs and the location where it'll take place. Much of the material is written in a non-scripted manner, highlighting the important beats and giving some aside material for the GM based on alternate routes the players might take. It also helps that it's building on material from the core book in terms of its location. That said, this is still an investigation-themed campaign, so if your table prefers a combat-heavy slugfest, this won't be a good fit for you. Speaking of combat, if I had one criticism, it would be the placement of profiles, i.e. the actual stats, towards the back of the book. I'd rather these stat blocks be in the spot where that character or encounter would be relevant in the given scenario. But I will admit this is a bit nitpicky on my end. The book does make it clear that for its characters, it should be in the 65 to 75 um, character point range. I appreciate this since all too often scenarios in level list games don't exactly make that clear. Or if they make it clear, they make it clear in the most abstract ways possible that don't exactly help a GM. Doing this means that you could use it as someone's theoretical introduction while knowing what the reasonable power level is. And I hope to see this again in the future with a more high-powered scenario. Even so, Dark Dealings is a fine first outing for this scenario series that Black Void Games is planning, and it might make a decent gateway into Black Void, establishing the themes that the game as a whole carries. Being the first in a series, time will tell if the motifs established here will carry on into the next one. But that, as they say, is another story. Stay frosty.